Hong Kong is famous for shopping. 48 million tourists shopped in Hong Kong in 2012. Cosmetics and skincare products are considered must-haves. Currently, about 65% of our sales is coming from mainland China. Okay, in terms of the age, uh, it's quite broad. There's no age limit. Okay, and they are coming from mainly in the first and second tier city like Beijing, Shanghai, etc. Mainland Chinese are particularly attracted to Hong Kong because of the zero tax environment as well as the plethora of choice on offer. The market is a sole window uh, of the brands and from this stepping stone and then they can enter into China. Um, so the potential is to make use of the current uh, big number of visitors in Hong Kong and also make use of the current confidence of consumers shopping in Hong Kong. For the China consumer, but they usually go for the most popular product for um, the particular brands and we usually call that hero product or star product. Each region is like their own country itself. So like Northern people will look for um, product that's more hydrating, moisturizing, and Southern China will look for something that's more um, cleansing and more uh, balancing. Okay, so it really depends on each region. But I would say, um, you no know, sensitive skin is definitely number one. Demand from Chinese tourists shows no sign of abating. Natural and organic trend is going stronger and stronger. Um, especially um, people from China because they're very concerned about the safety issues. Moving into the Hong Kong market can however have its challenges, particularly where costs are concerned. The operation cost is quite high, uh, labour cost, rental cost, as well as we are quite difficult to recruit frontline staff. For this high cost reason, owners of the retail stores, they will be very selective on products that they are retailing my recommendation to Australian companies is also that uh, um, trying to be generous on the prices and also do not complain that their retail price is very high because that is the reality. The, the uh, owners of the shops, they really ask very high margin in order to cover their expenses and shops is the only way to expose the brand. So finding the right distributor is very important and can mean the difference between success and failure. It's a matching games. This brand may be good for this kind of channel or the other brand may be good for this kind of channel. So they have to understand the brand itself and to talk to the principal to understand what are they looking for. What do I want for my brand in Hong Kong, even in China? Okay, and how this uh, distributor can assist me in achieving the result that I want. I think that it has to uh, uh, go through a thorough discussion to make sure each party is understanding and can meet their expectations.